anything to watch or predictions for the second half? We'll start with the uh, you, Ian, and go from there. Yeah, um, I'm just I'm anxious to see when uh, Vesperis is going to come back for Eastern. Um, obviously, him being out was a big difference in that game against Idaho. Um, and kind of just seeing where the Eagles can pick up with him if he uh, when he comes back this year. No, oh, well said. When he's on the field, they feel like a top 25 team. Easy as that. He, I mean, he really is a difference maker. How about yourself, Mark? Anything down the stretch or looking forward to? Yeah, it seems like, I mean, it's obvious that Idaho and Montana State are on a, you know, track to make the playoffs. Montana's kind of jumping up into that conversation too. But, you know, it, it'll be interesting to watch some of the other teams that we thought were going to be playoff teams. You know, um, you know, Sac State, uh, UC Davis, Weber State, see how they play out the last few weeks and, and you know, see if they can make a run at the playoffs. And, and it could be that some of those teams kind of knock each other out with, with how the schedule lines up and stuff like that. It'd be interesting to see at the end of the of the year how many teams from this conference get into the playoffs. No, that that's how it feels. It feels like you see it sometimes in the SEC or Pac-12 where the teams are just beating each other up so much it affects them in the rankings where a team comes out of nowhere, plays spoiler, NAU's kind of been that team. So, no, I totally feel that. I'm really interested to see. My thing to watch down the stretch, and there's a million things you could keep an eye on, but I want to see how Montana State fares. They got Sac State on the road. Idaho on the road. They got to host NAU in Eastern Washington and then the Brawl of the Wild in Missoula. So not other than this Cal Poly game this weekend, Montana State's got a true test every week, it feels like. They've been considered kind of an FCS power the last couple of years. They're developing in one of those national brands. This is going to really prove it or lose it kind of a moment because it'd be easy to drop two of those games at Sac State, at Idaho. Those are really tough games. And for a team who's rolled in big sky play the last couple of years, I'm interested to see how they handle that because if they do get knocked off one game, how do they bounce back? So that'd be my big thing to watch. But of course, tons of awesome stuff to watch down the stretch. It's going to be an absolute dog fight the rest of the year in the big skies. 